welcome to Rendezvous. Hi. And welcome to Sticky Situation. Where are we at this weekend? We are in Fort Bridger, Wyoming at the, at the uh, Fort Bridger Rendezvous. They hold this every year over Labor Day weekend. And we always have this really big spot. Mm -hmm. And we love to come up here and stay in our teepee. And all the kids love it. And there's lots of fun games and everything that goes on. And so uh, we're going to show you a little bit about what goes on up here this weekend and kind of the fun things that happen. Yeah. And Sit back and relax, because that's what you do at Rendezvous. You just eat things and relax and Sleepy. sleep and eat some more and, and relax. Oh, and spend lots of money. There's lots to spend. <laughs> and have friends too. Oh yeah, and then we visit with all our friends we haven't seen in a long time. So, come on in, enjoy the camp, and we'll talk to you later. Yep.
Hold the back, Ryan. Hold the back so it stays up better. Okay, turn around. Go back. I tracked him by the river. Failed in the cover and I killed him on the moon. My way, my way, my way, my way, miles away. I killed him on the mountain, miles away, miles away. Till I tracked him by the river. Failed in the cover and I killed him on the mountain, miles away. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yeah, okay, on three. Yeah. One, yeah. two, three. Pull, Carrick, pull, pull. Pull, Carrick, pull harder. Pull harder. Hey, you guys need a pep talk. What's up with that? Yeah. We don't have them. We don't have them. We don't have them. I need a rock. I can't believe it. You need to help us. Okay. Hey. No, no, no. You got. There's no excuses. Look at him. Guys, you're guys. What are you going to do about it? You're supposed to be the protector, you know. I mean, yeah, you like there's no tomorrow. When I say let go, you let go of your side. Hey guys, you're ready. Get your foot Look out there. They're ready. You guys ready? Hey, y'all ready? Yeah! You guys, ready? On the count of three. Two, one, two, three, ten, nine, three. Oh, God! 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 <laughs> There's too many girls! Hey, we're going to get beat! Guys, I'm going to hide. Help me! Help me! Stand up again, guys. Get it. Get it. No, get it. Look at me. No, no, stay where you are. No, just stay. Okay. Dinner. We have Dutch oven potatoes with chicken and carrots and onions. And onions, of course, we don't eat the onions, but so yeah, it turned out really good. I'm excited to eat. Didn't take too long to cook, so we're excited. Like I said, rendezvous, it's all about food, yeah. food and drink. Rendezvous. So, cheers.
All right, so a little about me and my history with Rendezvous. I don't know where exactly I got my love of this era. I mean, I remember back to being a little kid, um, probably about 12, 13, probably even younger than that, maybe eight or nine. I remember really being interested in it. I remember in like second grade in school, we learned about the fur trade era and the mountain man, and I just became infatuated with them right away. Um, my first time I came up here to Fort Bridger was when I was 13 years old. Um, my parents just, I had heard about it existing, and I was like, I really want to go, I really want to go. So I talked my parents into driving up here, and we came up to go camping somewhere up here in Wyoming, and we stopped in here for about four hours. And I was so frustrated because there was so much to see and so much to do up here. And those four hours was not enough for me. So that was the only time I got that I missed that next year. And then when I was 14, I hitched a ride up with some people that I met in Orem that were traveling up here. And so I kind of tagged along with them and came up. And that was my first weekend up here. So normally what rendezvous is up here is you'll come up on a Thursday night, you'll set up your tents, and there's different types of things. We're in what's called the primitive area. So all of our stuff like has to be authentic. It has to be pre-1870 type stuff. So you're usually about 1820s to 1870s. Um, you want to be authentic. You'll have canvas structures like tents and teepees and stuff. So we have our teepee and we have our pyramid tents, and then we have our A-frame tents, which were more for like the war era stuff, <coughs> excuse me. So, and then we have all of our stuff that is authentic to that period. So we set up in what's called the primitive area. They have other places where people come up and they just pitch their tent or they pull in with their motor home and they'll camp up there. So we're usually here from Thursday night to maybe like Monday afternoon is when we go home. Um, so our area is inside the fort. So originally Fort Bridger, you follow the fur trader and stuff. Uh, Jim Bridger established this fort for trading with the Indians um, in the early 1800s. Um, and he began to trade out of the fort. And, and every year they would have what they call a rendezvous where all the traders would come in and all the trappers would bring all their pelts and stuff in. And so they would bring in everything into here and then they would trade their pelts to the, they would sell their pelts to the trading company who would take them back east and make fur hats out of them and clothe for all the really rich people back in England and in the colonial states. Um, and so this fort has been around for a really long time. So this has always actually been a really fun rendezvous because it's got historical stuff to go along with it. It's not just a bunch of mountain men getting together up in the mountains in a place that's slightly historic but not the same. So they have a museum here on site. They have uh, the old fort here. So you can go into the old fort and see how that is, how they lived. They have some of the newer structures, the buildings that after the fort was abandoned, um, the US Army came in here right after the Civil War and took up station. And so this was one of their main places here. So they built officer barracks and, and um, infantry barracks and all those things of course you have to have your food and other stuff so they had a small farms here plus horse stables and all those different things that they had so it still has some of those old buildings that have been restored and so you get a more of an authentic feel of this place that's why I love coming up here to Fort Bridger and I've been coming up here like I said since I was a little kid so this is probably my 32nd year up here in this in this area um, and I've bounced around I mean for when I was a teenage kid I would hitchhike a ride up here and just stay for the weekend in a sleeping bag under a tree somewhere and that's what I would do and then once I learned how to drive was able to drive then I drove up here and so I've always been a fan of this I've always been a fan of the era because it just fascinates me so much I love I mean you know me I'm a history buff anyway I like the Viking era I like the colonial era I like the um, mountain man era and the fur trade era and all of those things I just history has always fascinated me and that's why I love to come out here and reenact that and just be able to participate in something that you don't get to see on a daily basis living in town. So we'll come up here and we'll throw tomahawks or we'll shoot our black powder rifles 
um, will participate in lots of the different games they have. And they make it fun. It's this really, really fun family activity. My kids love it. They just play out in the woods with just random kids that they meet. And so all these families come up here and their kids just play together and they have a great time. And so we like coming up as a family because of that. Um, it's just a time for me to relax. I think this is the only weekend that I actually have where I get here and I don't have to do anything. I just set up my camp and I can just sit around and eat, sleep and wander around and buy things. And so it's the most relaxing time I have probably any other time during the year and I really enjoy it. So that's just kind of a little bit about me and why I love the Fort Bridger Rendezvous. I go to some other rendezvous during the year. I used to go to at least two or three a year. Now this is probably the main one that I go to just because the other ones have either closed down or else there are times a year when I can't go because I'm doing taxes and I'm stuck in the office. So, so that's a little bit about my history and why I love this era. And so stick around and enjoy some of the views of Rendezvous and see if you can also grab hold of that spark of, and of enjoyment for it and wonder of what was happening during this era and the fascinating history behind it. What's breaking into that in bag? Like you're breaking into an apartment that I don't know? Hey, this is so cool. Wow. Well, right now we'll let Isaiah pick the right song for the horse dance. Here it is.
dancing out there. Our bits traditional. Yes, I want proof when the court when the court asks what happened, I got proof now.
Rivers, go swing. Two, two, you can have two corners. Second corner is swing. Second corner. Number one, dance down the hall. Draw three partners. Come back, draw the other side. Dance up. I like this. Your partner, while we're waiting for these guys. Just swing your partner. Get a ballroom or your arm. We've got a little chaos going on over here. Come on, swing. 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 Come on, Into the center. Sorry, I did it wrong. Corner goes to go. Now swing your partner. Promenade. Look at the right this time. Promenade, promenade. Other way, other way, other way. So we're going to take breaks. So switch around if you want a new partner. Keep this partner if you want to keep them and line up and we'll do another one. This is going to be... Right back.
Bonnie, welcome to the dance. Moving closer. The band is going to play, but I'm going to teach you some classic old pioneer dances. Barn dances. You don't need to have any experience to do it. I